Hey everyone, welcome back. This week I thought I'd have a look at one of these new angled sockets from MK. You know the screwless terminal connections at the back, a bit like a, people call them a Wago connection. They're basically just a, a lever at the back. You can see they've got brown, green and blue there for the three um, line neutral and CPC connections. Uh, it's semi screwless because you do still need two screws to hold the thing back to the wall. But yeah, a bit of a hot topic at the moment. So I thought we'll have a look at this and uh, see if it's going to be the future or not. So the job's pretty simple. We're basically just spurring off this socket here, coming down into the floor and up into the corner here where we're going to be installing this new MK1 over there. Um, now you could, in the prescribed zones, you could just come straight along across from the wall all the way, boom, put the socket there if you wanted to. But there's skirting going on in here, new skirting, new flooring and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do uh, is come down off that socket break into the uh, behind the skirt in the existing skirting come into the floor here the floor area where you can already see there's a couple of boards that's been lifted up and stuff for pipes or whatever and then come up the back of the skirt in there we'll just do a little chase there and with the other skirt in being slightly bigger as well it's there's less to fill in um, pretty straightforward job to be honest so let's get the floor up some old cabling down there as well and red and black in the conduit uh yeah boards are up they didn't put up too much of a fight either i think it was like three or four screws covering the whole area obviously old houses you're gonna get all these massive thick joists as well and we're gonna for us we're, we're coming down this little chase here into this bay through this joist i think there's what the earth is on some kind of vinyl packer yeah there's already a hole there so that's good for us and then we'll uh, we'll drill through this and this and then obviously when we get towards the corner there towards the end we'll just try and some kind of get up the back of that skirt in as neat as we can and put the back box up there ready for the socket for the job of drilling the holes i'm going to employ this 16 mil dewalt flat bit and i'm going to uh, power that with this the old dog of a makita that i've got now you can use if you want you can use the impact because these are compatible on the ends with the impact but for the couple of holes I've got to drill, this this old dog will do. Speed one, take it slow, and uh, yeah, hopefully a nice, clean, smooth cut. Last choice to do, and obviously you want to be drilling roughly as close to the centre as the joist as you can do, because you don't want to be getting in the way of anything coming chopping chiving along in the future up here and you certainly don't want to be on the top here and the, or here because that's where the nail or screw anchor points are going to be to fix your actual board down with so roughly about there and you're good to go right, that's the last one i've put the laser level through the center of the socket just to kind of hit the two screws uh, you can't see the obviously the top or the bottom of the box but you can see the two screws so send a level through there and i've also already measured the gap between the socket and the wall and i've mimicked that over here just a little pencil mark there i've mimicked that so we've got the same gap so that's going off the first screw hole you can see there so if you just send the laser right through the screw holes and you can even hit the two screws the way you're going to drill into the wall drawn around the back box and i've even drawn the chase itself and hopefully the cable can just come through here into this nice nice bay there's nothing restricting it up the back of the skirting like we said through that chase and into the socket got carried away a little bit and did some screw holes as well i might actually drill them first before we get cracking on uh, as you can see i'm going to be using the multi-tool as well uh, just to try and uh, keep things down to uh, keep the chaos down to a minimum to be honest i don't want to start hacking too much of plaster off and everything else i'm also going to be employing a vacuum cleaner Thank you. 
Well, as you can see, there's almost no teeth left on this thing after that. Uh, I'm not going to be able to chop through that brick with it. So what I'll do, I'll get a smaller, thinner drill bit and we'll just drill around the actual box itself. You know, that kind of where you just drill around to cut it kind of thing. Chip away, tread carefully and try not to create too much dust. As the box nicely in now you can see the laser level line coming right through the holes and we are going to have to do something with this hole on the left here because it just goes right through that perp there so maybe use this top one and this bottom one just to kind of keep it all nice and flush and level it is a 25mm box the newfangled MK socket says it fits in that box so that's what we're going to use uh, there's a bit of a bit of horse hair or something here it shows you how old this place is but yeah it was a bit bit of a nightmare chiseling through that and uh, Obviously I've drilled some more holes, but look at the stain of my chisel. It's pretty pretty hammered and rounded off now. But uh, it's an old thing anyway, so who cares. So much for keeping the dust down. Now it's time to disconnect the power and pull the socket off. I'm going to plug the tester in to get a tone or nip downstairs and turn the breaker off. Power's off. Let's unscrew the front and see what joys await us. Sockets exposed and all the spiders have run off, left the cobwebs behind. We did actually turn it off because this stopped lighting up. But to prove it's off, we want to use a approved voltage indicator and a proving unit. For this I'm using Qtex QProve 3, which I've had a few years now, pretty good. So that just checks that the leads are working, there it is, checks the leads are working. So you come up here onto the terminals itself, so line and neutral. No voltage, line and CPC, neutral and CPC, there you go. So we've got uh, no voltage across the board there, so we now need to reprove our voltage indicator, like so. Run through the whole process again, just to prove that the actual leads are working. So we now know that's dead and safe to work with. And now the front's off and we know it's all dead, I'm going to do a little chisel all the way down here behind the skirt and in into this bay where we can connect up this cable into here. Uh, hopefully there should be some room. The box looks to be sunk a bit further back than the other one I've just fitted, but uh, you know, we'll soon see a try. Try our best to keep it as neat as possible and obviously not nick any cables. <laughs> Chiseled out the chase here for the cable and my entry hole is in the bottom here where the grommet is. I'm just scraping off the edge here because the hit it when the plasters, painted decorators and stuff. They'll leave the socket on and just kind of go to it. So it leaves this edge all the way around. So I'm just flattening that off so that the socket that goes back there looks a little bit, well, flatter. It's now time to second fix this socket. You can see with the back box, I've just drilled another hole here and put another screw in there because the one up here was going straight into the perp and absolutely useless. So it's a really solid, nice tight back box. Flush as well, 25 mil. These sockets do say they'll fit into a 25 mil back box, so we'll see. On the front looks pretty much normal, an average everyday socket, but on the back, obviously we've got these different connections. There's some writing up here saying 10 mil cable strip length and that's just obviously on about how much insulation to pull back on the um, for the to expose the conductor and they will go into the various different levers here just pull the neutral levers up and down the barrel you can see the connections that are going to be taking place we'll get it on 
and see how it looks, eh? Well, there we have it, nice and tight connections. One neutral, one super C, one on the conductor, all good and dandy. We'll do now flip it in, see how, how it looks to see if it does actually fold into a 25mm back box. Even with all this extra cabling that I seem to have somehow ended up with. Let's flip the hair. Maneuver them in place. Oh, that's, that's pretty good actually, it fits nice and flush. Obviously there's a few marks going around the wall that I've got to fill and stuff like that, but it's, yeah, quite pleased with that. So it does fit perfectly in the 25mm back box. I've managed to revamp that original socket back to its former glory, whatever that was. Uh, put a bit of filler in, uh, put the boards back down, have a general tidy up. The filler itself, this this stuff, uh, this lingering around in the van, and it's um, it's all right, it's pretty good. It's just that it had gone off a little bit or it had solidified at the bottom, so I had to literally beat it to a pulp to get it to work and stuff. So it's not the finish finish, but it's uh, it's just a fill in to fill the chase and hide everything, make it look a, little, a tiny bit tidier. So there's a the socket swinging about on the wall. One last thing to do. You can see all the filler air just kind of trying to ooze out and stuff. I'll, I'll keep on top of it and everything else, but it's uh, the socket's on it screwed back as much as I can. And uh, it's time to give it a bit of a ZS. So flip this over. See what we're reading, ATT on, because we've got an ICBO downstairs. Um, yeah, should give us a reading, a few seconds on this thing. 0.43, so that's, that's good. Uh, yeah, check the other side. Good to go. Little job done, I've since been back, and, uh, well, I've since picked another one up to go back. And we're going to change the, the old one on the other side that I kind of revamped-ish so that they're all matchy-matchy. Um, something I forgot to mention as well on the back, you've got these two testing points where my finger's just pointing there. I'm not sure if you can see it on the focus. It's not really focusing too well, is it? No. Uh, but you've got line and neutral test points there, and obviously you can use the bar for your earth connection. Um, so if, if you're utilising all three cables here, like we will be doing with this one when we replace the other one because it's got you, it's like a ring and then it's, you know, it's got a spur out. So you're utilising all the levers. You don't want to start ramming probes in there and stuff. So it's nice and nice little um, thought there to put the te two test points on top. A couple other things I liked about it. Um, it obviously is fast. That's what it's, uh, th the, the, its name is saying it is. It's a kind of fast fix socket, screwless terminals. It does fit in a 25mm back box, as we demonstrated. And I also quite like the shape of it. I know it's pretty it's a pretty generic socket type shape, isn't it? They're all like this in the UK. But it's yeah, it's not too, you know, it's got a that top thing in it. I think it's more of a um, MK shape. So these are currently about £5.99 in screw fix, five to six quid, something like that. I'm sure you can get them probably cheaper somewhere else, or you know, cheaper if you buy more or something like that. Let me know what you think of them. Do you think they're here to stay? Are they uh, the future or not? Or is it a fad or is it something? Is it like is it like a 3D TV where they kind of come in, try something, it fails and they go, go away again? Or is it here to stay? I can certainly see, you know, the, 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 the speedy handiness of something like this. But the price is going to have to come down. Obviously, the demand will have to go up for that to happen. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye now.